Hello friends, Marcy here. And as you can see, I have a new Platinum um, 3776. It doesn't say that on there, but yeah. Um, that I actually pre-ordered in February. And it's now April. And I have, I received it um, several days ago. But I, again, I'm trying to catch up on my video sharing. Um, this just says Platinum Japan 1919. Um, that's the year that this company started. And um, I've been trying over the past several weeks, I've been trying to prepare for um, eight questions. And one of the questions was, what was my Holy Grail pin? And I didn't really have a Holy Grail pin, but this pin was one that I have wanted, desired for some time. But when I first um, found it, it was like a couple years ago. Oh, a year and a half ago, maybe. And I saw Inky Rocks share it on her channel, but hers was black. And um, this one just came out. Um, <laughs> that was, I just, I moved that away like, surprise! <laughs> and there's nothing there but paper and foam. Sorry. <laughs> this one came out. Um, on a pre-order basis so it was available but I had to pre-order it and here we go surprise <laughs> that one worked oh my okay so this is the 3776 century shape of a heart I, I love that floral pattern back there and the color so as we can see it comes with a cartridge and a converter I'm so pleased it came with a converter because when I ordered my other Platinums, I had to purchase the converter separately, but this is a premium pen, so yeah, they included it. And what do we have here? Um, mixable ink, create your own ink colors. Okay, I'm gonna have to investigate that. Oh my goodness, look at that lid. Shape of a heart. Wow, that is exquisite. I gotta get it out of my the glare of my light. There we go. So, and the shape of the bottle. I love, you know, unique bottle shapes. Um, I've seen the, the mixable inks like the Jekyll and Hyde and, and some others. I think, does Monte Verde have a line? I'll have to double check. But I've never purchased them. So this one, it says mixable, but I only have one bottle. So I'm going to have to investigate this. What am I going to mix it with? Something new for me to um, research discover and enjoy anyway the star of this show is right here this is the shape of a heart century 3776 shape of a heart uh, medium nib and i'm quite surprised with the finish on the barrel body of this pin it's um like an off-white ivory, hence the name. Um, I'm just reading around the band here. 3776 Century. Platinum. Made in Japan. Okay. Um, and <clears throat> what makes this pen special is in the finial. It is a clear dome cap with lots of crystals inside, but there are a few, like right there's a heart. There are a few hearts dispersed throughout the crystals and they came from punching the heart out of a nib. And most of the time, the uh, heart that they punched out of the nib, and I'll show you that here in a quick moment. There's some here, um, in here. Most of the time, they punched the heart out and they just recycled the material. They put it back in, and melted it to create more nibs. But on this special edition, and the first one that I do not have was black, um, they created the special shape of a heart uh, dome. Clear crystal dome. Clear dome cap with the crystals and shape of the heart that they included. So it's... It's just a special pen, a lovely, and I'll show you the shape that was cut out. 
I don't know if I need to do this on my hand or where we're gonna get a focus. There we go. So there's a heart shape that has been punched out of the nib. And it has 14 karat medium there with the P for platinum. So nothing should be inside because yeah, our components are here and it's metal threads on plastic. And again, I'm I'm quite impressed and surprised at the the matte finish on this. Um, I was not expecting that. I was actually expecting something more like this. You know, something floral, something two-toned. Um, I don't know why. I guess I didn't look closely enough at the advertisement. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm surprised, impressed, and, and quite pleased with this matte finish. It does feel differently than my other pens. Let me check that grip section again. Okay, so the grip section, it feels glossy. It looks glossy. It's more slick than this is grippy. But it's a nice unposted hold in my hand, and we'll get to that in a moment. Um, let me take this off, the clip. That's a nice, I, I enjoy having a, a soft clip because um, I don't wear shirt pockets, but uh, occasionally I will put a pen on my shirt collar, blouse collar at work. Of course, this will not be one of those. <laughs> this will not be traveling in my blouse at work. Uh, I'm a special education teacher and this pen will not need to be there. <laughs> I have several other pens that I can uh, trust and enjoy to be in that environment. So real quick, let's just look at, this is not a platinum, this is the Pilot Custom 823, the VAC filler. Just put it aside. <clears throat> As you can see, it's quite a bit larger, longer, but um, there we go. Welcome to the family. All my other um, platinum pens are trimmed in the gold finish, and this one is a broad nib, and there again is the cutout heart. Isn't that just gorgeous? On a broad. Um, the burgundy. The cutout heart. And this one is a soft fine. And in my green. It is ultra extra fine. So this is the only time I've ever experienced an ultra extra fine in a nib. I was anxious for that and I do enjoy it. It it's a wonderful um, thin line writer for the Hoganichi. Okay, so I'm gonna move these. <clears throat> Excuse me, I don't know. Once I got on the video, I just kind of got scratchy. <clears throat> move these aside. I do want to go flush my nib and um, we're going to put some ink and give it a quick writing test with the converter. So I shall return. Okay, so I do not have any full bottles of platinum ink, but I was just uh, checking my uh, stash of samples and I do have this platinum ink. It's not listed on the bottle. Um, True Fade listed theirs in on the bag numbered. It's Platinum Lavender Black, and I think that will just be gorgeous in here. We're going to give it a try, write it out, and come back to do like a review of what we discovered. So, Platinum Lavender Black. That's gorgeous. All right, and being a white pen, um, as you know, if you've watched my channel, I do like to matchy matchy. Um, but being a white pen, um, anything will work. And real quick, this is a push on proprietary um, converter. It does not have the threads and you do have to use a platinum brand. Oh, I'm squeezing water out from my rinse. On my leather mat, I guess I should need to put my art mat back up here until I'm ready to write my letters. Okay. Okay. 
Oh, the silence. My goodness. Oh, that's so pretty. It's very rubyish. And this has not been swatched. It's in um, still the sample from Trufe. I've not yet swatched it in my ink journal swatch book. Wow, look at that nice full fill all the way to the top. So I'll wipe this off. I do not yet know about this material staining. Again, that will be a review item after use, but um, I will attempt to keep uh, staining opportunities away from my grip section with um, by quickly cleaning up when I fill. So, and the benefit from filling through the nib, I do like to uh, syringe fill in my converters when possible um, to keep uh, the grip section clean and stain free. But the benefit of filling through the nib is you saturate your nib section and it allows you to write more quickly. Um, again, this is postable, um, securely postable, and it's really not too back heavy or too long when you do that, but it's also very comfortable to hold uh, unposted with that size. Very close to the Pelican um, M200 and M400 sizes. But let me grab our Rhodia dot pad and I don't want this to blur as it seems to do in my videos on you. Um, oh, this is a gorgeous ink. Platinum number 3776 Century. This nib is, it does have some spring to it, which is nice. Um, and I do have the medium nib here. I'll have to do a writing page um, with you soon, uh, exploring the various nib sizes that I do have in the Platinum. All right, and this is the special shape of a heart. And the ivory name is spelt quite uniquely. I hope I got that right. Ivory. Anyway, if not, I'll uh, I'll correct it in the notes. Um, and our ink is again platinum, lavender black. It's pretty. So if you're hearing any feedback, um, I can hear it, but it's not anything that I'm really feeling uh, with the pen in hand. It seems to be a very smooth writer on this page. All right, lovely. So pretty. It's like a burgundy fuchsia, but it also has, as it dries, it has a dusty um, pink uh, property to it. Very quick drying. Wow, I'm loving it. Okay, so I, as I said, I pre-ordered this pen in February, and it's April. It just came in a few days ago. Um, I have no other pens that I'm expecting upon arrival. And I have to count my pens so I can do eight questions. I'll be counting my inks and I'll be reporting back to y'all with some fantabulous numbers. Anyway, I'm so pleased to finally share this with you and I am pleased that you are here to join me. Um, thank you for spending some of your very precious moments with me. You have a blessed day. Bye-bye.